with um, PC stuff, I'm generally fairly cool with getting digital things. But in console games, I kind of kind of want to actually have the physical disc. And that's handy because then when you uh, don't need the game anymore, you can sell it back. And I recently did that with a bunch of my PlayStation games and stuff. And I one of the games I got rid of was Bloodborne. And the astute person might wonder why I got rid of Bloodborne when uh, the expansion just came out. And the reason is because the expansion is only available as a digital purchase in the States. Whereas in Japan, you can get Bloodborne, the old Hunter edition. Old Hunters, I guess, because there was many Hunters. Um, and I wanted to do that instead. And so I ordered from Playasia, Play Asia if you prefer, and it was released yesterday and the box arrived today and that was very unexpected. I I don't remember asking for any type of expedited shipping, but uh, yeah, so the there's box art on, on the sheet of paper and there's stuff in Japanese that you either already know what it says or you don't care what it says because you don't care about the old hunters. But the box itself, it's in a plastic slipcase like this. It, the plastic is, if you can hear it, it's very, very textured. It's uh, just very rough. It, once you play the game, you will recognize this bit of uh, art as being an artifact in the game that gets unlocked right after one of the boss fights. I haven't actually played it yet because I sold my Bloodborne and didn't buy the DLC, but uh, some videos uh, will explain what's going on there and what boss that's after. So there's Bloodborne, the old Hunter's Edition. It is my understanding that this is essentially going to still be in English because the Japanese version's audio, the, the spoken voices are still in English. So, um, so I should still be able to play and know what's going on, but I believe that all the text will be in Japanese, which is going to make things uh, an inordinate pain in the ass. And this comes with, uh, you know, obviously the game and this freaking art book and, and guide. So <laughs> I can know what all the things are, except that I can't read Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is weird to me because this is a Japanese book in Japan for the Japanese, but this reads right to left. You know, normally a Japanese book would, the cover would be here and you'd open it and read it this way. So that's kind of weird. Oh, but dude, this has got like all the maps and shit. Well, that's, that's pretty fucking cool. It's got stats on all the things. Um, I mean, I can't read Japanese, but, but this kind of stuff I can decipher. I mean, I mean, the short kanji strings are, are pretty easy to, to figure out. I mean, I, I do know a little bit, but, um, and this is a mini soundtrack. So probably in the Atlas tradition. Oh yes. Look, there are five audio tracks. God, what the fuck, man? Like, if you're going to put in the soundtrack CD put in the whole fucking thing or just just don't and say listen to it on the disc like like on uh i mean you can listen to the whole thing you know well both in game and on the cd so yeah you have well this appears to be um all the boss fights uh ludwig lawrence living failures lady maria and uh of the of the astral clock tower which is this thing um and the orphan of Kos. Actually, this is a little bit of a spoiler. I've never heard of the Orphan of Cost. Like I said, I haven't played the game yet. And uh, I was unfamiliar with that. So, um, this is this is pretty cool. The, the guidebook I look forward to trying to puzzle out. Complete Guide Prologue. 
Um, and I am looking forward to getting into this. I've managed to... Oh, this is not a face. This is his hat. It's a tricorn pointing down. Um, I'm kind of winding down with Fallout. I haven't finished it, but but I... Ah, oh, God. I, I, I can't play it for very long because um, it's it's addictive. And then Xenoblade comes out uh, today. But I won't actually get mine for some time because GameStop doesn't want to ship anything in a reasonable time. Um, so I will have some time with Bloodborne before then. Anyway, uh, this has been the Old Hunters edition uh, with all the Japanese stuff. And I'm, I'm pretty pleased. This case is really nice. This texturing is good. Uh, if... I mean, look, I, I, I'm absolutely certain the camera won't pick it up, but it, it's got a texture like rough-grained leather to look at, but it doesn't feel like that at all. I mean, this does not feel like rough-grained leather at all. It feels... Actually, it feels kind of slimy. And... I mean, without actually being slimy, I mean, it's dry. But it gives a sensation of being slimy. That's, that's creepy. That's, uh... That's really creepy.